welcome back to a new bullet journaling video here on Caitlin's Corner. As you can see, I have a new bullet journal, and no, I have not completed my yellow bullet journal. This is my Christmas bullet journal. Uh, it is not meant for daily planning or weekly planning. It is strictly meant for Christmas activity related things. Uh, hopefully it will make a little bit more sense once I actually flip through some of the pages I've designed for this holiday season. I got inspiration to do this video because my mom growing up actually had a binder dedicated to Christmas that was filled with lists of uh, who she had to buy for, what she ended up buying, her budget, um, her final costs, like all those things related to Christmas were in one place. I've just always really admired her system and I am a adopting it myself for the first time through my bullet journal. Um, so I feel like I've already been doing enough chatting. So let's just dive in. So we open up to page number one, which is just simply um, a year's page. We're in year 2016. I assume uh, that I'll be able to use this for 2017 and 2018 as well. If I do, uh, or if I am able to use it for a longer period of time, I can still add a few years. And then the second page is just a simple Christmas planner title page, just in case you know, I was wondering or couldn't figure out based on the pages within the journal what this planner was. I did a little tree in the background using a Tombow as well as an Artist Loft watercolor marker. I will include links to all of the markers that I use down in the description box below. I actually will have a blog post for this video so go check that out as well for pictures of each of the pages. Moving on to page number one is my countdown to Christmas tracker I guess. As you can see I just drew some very simplistic gift boxes numbered from uh, 25 to 1 and each day starting on December 1st I will color in a box until I reach Christmas Day. Christmas is by far my favorite holiday of the year so a tracker was definitely necessary and then to the right of my countdown to Christmas tracker I have Santa's list which um, if you can't tell is actually a list for me to put uh, the people that I have to buy for this year. The names of the people I have to buy for are on this column right here and then to the right of that I am going to write the gift idea I have for that person next to that is the budgeted amount for their gift what I uh, anticipate or hope to spend my limit and then to the right of the budget column is what I actually end up spending it's kind of necessary for me to have a budget amount because you know it's very easy to get carried away at Christmas and by writing the actual amount right beside the budget I can really quickly see if uh, I am doing a good job job at holding myself back. And now we go to, I don't know why I'm saying that part, and now we go to page number three and four, which is the ho, 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 much did you spend uh, pages. Now this may seem like a little repetitive because I did have like an actual column here for spending that I spent on gifts, but this is for not just gifts, this is for anything and everything related to Christmas. If I bought ingredients for holiday baking, if I bought decor, it goes on these two pages. Santa's on this upper left corner here keeping an eye on me. Some Christmas lights differentiating, you know, the title area from the scary section. Uh, and then I have a space to write the item, how much the item costs, and then a running total that uh, I'll update every time I put a new entry in to just see what damage is being done. And moving on to Santa's L's to-do list. I have a before Christmas uh, list and a Christmas day list. For before Christmas, I just started uh, writing some things. I have decorate, um, Xmas cards, Christmas cards, Christmas shopping, wrap gifts, and then on Christmas day, family breakfast, open presents, Christmas lunch, make a snowman. Nothing too crazy going on here. I have some ornaments to the right of a little frosty and a candy cane ornament. Um, I just thought it was clever to put Santa's elves as kind of like the big header of these to-do lists or for any to-do list really because during the Christmas season we all become like little elves getting things done and making sure everything is ready for Christmas day. The next page in this section, the first half of the bullet journal, is an online orders tracker. During the holiday season, a majority of my shopping at least happens online and usually I'm making a lot of orders at once so I feel like it's really helpful just to track them and this is how I'm going to or I'm planning on doing it. I just have a very simple chart here with the date of the transaction or for the date of the transaction where 
I bought the, the purchase, the description of the purchase, and then I have a section here for like a little check mark for me to put once it arrives. When you're putting in a lot of online orders at once, it's very easy for something to slip by you, um, especially because during the Christmas season, online orders can sometimes be delayed, so you don't want to think that something has come in or forget about something and then realize on November or December 24th that, hey, that never came in. So this will allow, allow me to kind of keep on top of everything that I'm ordering and ensuring it's getting to me on time. Now we're gonna move on to one of my favorite or probably my favorite part about this bullet journal which is my naughty or nice list section. As you can see, I divided my bullet journal into two parts. The first part is all for the planning. The second part is for almost like a database within your bullet journal. When I flip the pages, as you can see, I have a whole page dedicated to my mom, a whole page dedicated to my dad, and then I will dedicate a page to everyone I have to buy for uh, following these two entries. For each page, I have the basic outline of a gift tag with their name, a section to write some basic facts about them, such as their size, their shoe size, their interest. These are facts that kind of will stay consistent every year, and then below that is the section where I can write what I bought them, the actual um, item that I bought them for the year 2016. And then after 2016, I'll have a 2017 section, a 2018 section, possibly a 2019 section. You could also make this two pages long, each profile two pages if you wanted to extend the life of your Christmas bullet journal. Now for this year, it's going to seem a little silly to be writing essentially the same information that I wrote in Santa's list. Although, this is a gift idea section. This is actually the place to write the final gift that I ended up buying them, which could be different than my gift idea. But this system next year is going to come so in handy because in 2017, when I forget what I bought my mom last year because I tend to have the worst memory when it comes to those sort of things, I can just look back and see, no Caitlin, you should not buy her a tea mug and tea because you bought that for her last year. So let's be creative and think of something different. Last but not least, I am finally making use of this pocket in the back of my bullet journal that I never use. It is going to be for receipts. I haven't quite decided if it's going to be for all receipts that I have from Christmas or just like a place to keep gift receipts safe before I wrap presents because I'm always paranoid that I'm going to lose the gift receipt before I actually have the chance to include it in the gift. This makes me so happy. You guys have no idea. I never use this pocket. But it seems like a pretty great place to put receipts, if I do say so myself. And there you have that. There are some of my pages that I have created for my Christmas bullet journaling system. Like I said, this is not for note taking, or not note taking, not for daily planning or weekly planning. You could make it that so that you could have, you know, a festive red bullet journal um, during December or something, I don't know. Um, but I just kind of wanted to keep this strictly for general planning purposes. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below any pages that you like to create for Christmas time, as well as any requests that you have for Christmas bullet journaling videos. I know I want to do a Christmas doodles video, but if you have any other ideas, let me know. I will see you all very soon with the new video and until then have yourself a merry little Christmas <laughs> that was so corny <laughs> bye guys